Europe's most experienced combat aircraft research, design, development, production, and flight test establishment. As part of the larger military aircraft division of British Aerospace, Wharton's successful products are now linked with military aircraft from other BAE sites, forming a powerful, comprehensive, and highly productive unit. Wharton comprises three sites. Preston has responsibility for the majority of tooling, detail, part, and sub-assembly production. This factory houses some of Europe's most advanced computer-controlled machine tools and computer-aided manufacturing facilities. Samsbury. Here, components are built into major assemblies and major refurbishment and return-to-work programs are carried out. Wharton, the administrative centre, includes all the design, research and development activities, production facilities, final assembly and flight testing. Today's designers have available to them many new materials and processes which play an important part in minimizing weight, production time and costs. For example, carbon fiber composites, new lithium alloys and superplastic forming, diffusion bonding of titanium and aluminium alloys. To support the design and engineering departments, extensive structural test and materials laboratories evaluate and test various materials and components, carry out full airframe static and fatigue trials, and calibrate in-service fatigue monitoring systems. Chemical and metallurgical analyses are undertaken, whilst non-destructive test techniques are used in the evaluation of both metallic and non-metallic materials. These include computer-aided ultrasonics and X-ray scanning. Representative loads are used to define fatigue life, fatigue limits and crack growth rates. Other development areas involving the aircraft systems, such as cockpit displays and controls, are the responsibility of the systems test department. They carry out a wide range of test and development programs from mechanical, hydraulic and electrical rig testing to fully operational avionics rigs. These rigs represent the complete avionics system of an aircraft. They provide the capability to fly the avionics over representative mission profiles using computer simulations of the system's hardware and the outside world. This provides backup to the flight test program as well as air and ground crew familiarization. Future cockpit rigs assess the performance of new developments, the presentation of information and the layout of controls for tomorrow's military aircraft. To assess the handling and performance of an aircraft at an early stage in its design, the dynamics of the aircraft can be fed into a flight simulator which features a computer-generated outside world and representative cockpit displays and controls. A further development of simulation technology has been the Wharton Twin Dome Combat Simulator. This enables two pilots to fly against each other in a realistic combat situation where tactics can be cost-effectively evaluated and improved. Wharton has a comprehensive range of wind tunnels which are used to study the aerodynamic performance of an aircraft. The 1.2 meter tunnel can sustain high Mach numbers over relatively long periods. Two larger tunnels are low-speed types used for both V-stall and conventional low-speed testing. The design data obtained from the wind tunnels, test laboratories and simulators is accumulated and made available to the designers at Wharton through the computer-aided design and manufacturing system, embracing all three sites. Increased productivity, better communication of design information, and reduced costs are just some of the benefits of the CAD-CAM system. 
A wide range of engineering skills have been combined to provide Wharton with a totally in-house manufacturing capability, utilizing both the traditional manual skills of craftsmen and the very latest automated production methods. The constant quest for improved aircraft performance has resulted in the need for stronger, lighter airframes. And in recent years, the use of integrally machined parts has become more widespread, such as this Tornado wing pivot lug produced from a titanium alloy forging. To cope with this demand, considerable capital investment has been made in additional machine tools. An extensive range of small, medium and large milling, turning and boring machines has been installed in the Preston factory, many with multi-spindle and multi-axis capability. A great deal of attention has been paid to the efficient management and control of these machines. The benefits of direct numerical control, DNC, were recognized early, and a large-scale implementation plan, started in the late 1970s, has resulted in the Preston facility becoming the largest European machine shop of its kind to be controlled in this way. Numerical control is not confined solely to conventional machining operations. Some of the processes now controlled numerically include pipe bending, five-axis honeycomb core carving, and water jet cutting of composites. A further benefit of the DNC experience has been to make the transition to fully automated production cells a more manageable technological step. A flexible manufacturing system, FMS, for small machined parts, incorporates the very latest machining and materials handling technologies and is managed by an advanced computer control system. The main catalyst for this type of development has been the increase in computing capabilities during recent years. This technology has been applied to machine control, but extensive use of computers is also made in production control areas, where material ordering, resource scheduling, and workload forecasting are highly automated. Computer-aided manufacturing includes tool design, part programming, and dynamic material nesting capabilities. In this example, component profile data is being used to optimize the layout of sheet metal components in 2 meter by 1 meter aluminium sheets. This information is then transferred to an advanced drill and route profiling machine. This process enables both small and large components to be accurately nested, thus minimizing material wastage. Another major advancement utilized at British Aerospace is the use of robotics. This robot is capable of drilling and routing parts to finished tolerances. Components may be machined in this way in a third of the time required by comparable manual methods. This Cartesian coordinate robot aids the assembly of large composite items such as wings. It has the ability to probe and memorize the location of substructures enabling blind drilling to be accomplished after the external flying surfaces have been added, demonstrated here using a clear plastic sheet. A significant investment and almost 20 years experience in carbon fiber composites has culminated in the design and build of this extensively co-bonded wing for the EAP demonstrator aircraft. The extensive CFC facilities, including this clean area at Salmsbury, equipped with tape laying, NC ply profiling and curing facilities, have enabled Wharton to win contracts from Scandinavia, the USA and Europe, thus gaining extensive knowledge of many material types and familiarity with international quality standards. This tornado heat exchanger duct has been produced in titanium by superplastic forming and diffusion bonding techniques. These processes, which take advantage of the superplastic properties of some alloys at high temperatures, around 950 degrees centigrade for titanium, 
enable complex shapes to be formed and fused together in one operation. Many titanium parts are now being produced in this way and research into aluminium alloy forming is well advanced. The sub-assembly of airframe components is another area in which Wharton has extensive experience and resources. Complex structures, large and small, are built to exacting standards. In addition to the skills of the personnel employed, accurate tooling is required to maintain these standards and ensure interchangeability between assemblies. To achieve this, extensive tool-making facilities advanced measuring systems and structurally stable checking fixtures are regularly employed. Following completion and final acceptance to production standards, components and sub-assemblies undergo an initial build stage before arriving at the final assembly lines at Wharton. Comprehensive flight development facilities are provided at the Wharton site, utilizing a two-kilometer main runway that is capable of accepting any high-performance aircraft. The airfield is equipped with full radar, ILS and navigation aids. Efficient use of flight test airtime is achieved using the telemetry system with online data reduction. During the design and development of a new or modified weapons system, the product support department works closely with the design organization, identifying features and requirements for ease of operation and maintenance. They also have a vital role to play in the provision of operational support services to customers around the world. Fully equipped and comprehensive training facilities are available to company personnel customer ground crews and for systems aspects in aircrew training. Wharton provides support for its products in over 24 countries, serving not only aircraft and ground equipment, but fulfilling the needs of totally integrated air defense systems. In addition, a specialized civil engineering department undertakes a vast range of projects throughout the world. For over 40 years, British Aerospace Wharton has been at the forefront in the design and development of high-performance combat aircraft. Wharton's extensive facilities and experienced personnel will further extend our already successful application of advanced technology to meet the challenge of any future defence requirements. <laughs>